Megavon and Melons, welcome to yet another epic battle tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Helm's Dyke and how you can do it solo. Um, I'm going to give you tips. Um, I'll try to balance it out between tips for beginners and tips for more advanced players of epic battles. So yeah, let's uh, get into it. So you can see I am currently um, at Helm's Dyke um, in normal Helm's Deep right now. Uh, but so we're going to actually start from here and get going. All right. So let us launch it. And I'm going to be doing uh, one man. I will do group. Like, I, like I've said before, I will do uh, group ones later with uh, probably other streamers and other Lotro players that um, have experience with epic battles. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go through all the solos, uh, starting with Helm Stike. So let's go. Uh, one tip. First tip, um, a lot of people don't buff up in these until they get in. There's usually some guy that will always run ahead when you're grouped up and start the thing when no one's ready. So I like to always get all my buffs out before I hop into an epic battle. Um, and I do this with skirmishes and instances too, but especially epic battles. Um, because I found that that's very important, so I'm just going to quickly throw some buffs on. I don't have any food on me, unfortunately. I'll get Daleman's Crams eventually. I always end up getting those, so... I'll just be waiting for that. But in the meantime, we'll throw those on. I don't think we'll need hope tokens. Um, you really only need those, as far as I can remember, for uh, the last two Minas Tirith battles, Defense of Minas Tirith and Hammer of the Underworld. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. Let's do this. If we load. Okay. Loading in. All right. So, um, I will be mainly running an engineer line for this one, um, but, uh, if you want to run officer or vanguard, that's totally fine with you two. Hold on, everyone. Let me turn my game sounds down. We'll go with that. That's a little quieter. All right. Hopefully you all can hear me. Um, so what we're going to do, like I said, um, if you didn't hear me over the crazy game sounds right there, we're going to be running... Uh, this with mostly engineer line um, so I have a mostly engineer line with a little bit of officer um, I'll be running that but you could totally run this with all vanguard or all officer um, and then if you're a beginner I will say this if you're a beginner just fo uh, focus on getting through it um, don't focus on the side quests unless they're important like the gate getting taken down which is one that can happen near the end um, other than that, though, you really don't want to focus on them. Just try to focus on surviving the main battle. Um, but if you're advanced, um, especially doing this solo, you have prep time because the epic battle will not start till you talk to uh, gambling. So what I usually do is I'll spend a good 10-15 minutes um, running around the battle, um, just upgrading stuff, building stuff, getting all the officers ready. And I'll probably do a little montage here for you all um, to show you all me getting stuff ready so you can get an idea of what to do. Um, vanguards um, and beginners, like I said, don't really have to worry about this. It's really only high-level engineers and high-level officers that have to uh, run around to get some prep work done. But um, if you're not planning on being, like I said, an officer or an engineer, don't worry about it. Um, just focus, get that, get the thing started with gambling, follow the flow of the battle, um, ignore uh, most of the side quests, or the side objectives that pop up, and just uh, try to get through it. And as you get more points, you can start getting more prep work done, getting higher scores and whatnot. Um, but yeah, don't, don't go too crazy on yourself off the bat. Take it slow. Because um, it took me a while to get to the point where I could run around and do this, like build and upgrade uh, siege weapons and um, give all the we officers different weapons and whatnot. So, yeah, don't stress yourself out. Take it slow. Um, but if you're advanced, I will go through as much as I can here. Um, so, yeah, we'll do a little quiet montage here of me just uh, building and up upgrading and stuff. And if you watched my last video... You'll pretty much know what I'm doing. Um, if you want to know more of the details about what you're going to see uh, me doing here, just go watch my last Epic Battle video. 
um, where I explain um, what upgrades to give officers, you know, um, what order to do siege weapon upgrades, what the best uh, ammo is to use with siege weapons, uh, what what the best weapons are to give uh, military soldiers, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, definitely go watch my last video, and uh, yeah, so let's get into this. Now you may be wondering why I'm placing uh, my final item here, which is a catapult, and that is because one of the side quests you have a ramming uh, a ram that comes up and tries to take the gate down. Um, and if you get that quest, it's good to have a catapult because you're supposed to supply these archers and run around and supply them and keep them protected from these huge waves of orcs that come in. Um, and that never goes well. No matter how good you are at it, it never at least one of the archers is going to die and most likely your gate will be almost dead by the time you get the ram down. However, a little hack 
is to use a catapult and just bombard the, the ram with the catapult shells and it will be gone before you know it. So a little tip for you all there and we will get back to the quick montage and get started here. Alright everyone, so we just finished upgrading everything, so I'm going to just give you guys a quick walkthrough of what I did on both sides and why I did it so that you guys know um, uh, for when you go, go through this, especially when you get to uh, a high enough level um, with a certain trait or a certain epic battle trait line. Um, so I told you about the catapult. Um, and then I have, I moved, there's a bunch of barricades here that are very strangely placed, and I pretty much move all of those. Um, I move one here because you have three different uh, side objectives that will make the orcs come over here, and they'll either charge over here, charge over here, or they'll, uh, oh wait, actually no, and the other two have them charging over here for different reasons. Um, so this, um, and obviously this one and this one help to... Uh, at least keep them at bay until you're able to get over here and take the rest out. Um, and then we'll also help these guys that will chase after them to kill them too. Um, and then obviously, like I said in my first one, you always want to set your uh, commanders to target priority sappers, um, target priority commanders, and two-handed stance. Once in a while, you can throw one on berserkers too. Um, and I'll show you an example of when to do that in a second. Um, and then down here, um, I have a barricade right here, um, down there. Um, and that's because you have two different side... and a catapult up here. And that's because you have two different side quests down here. One is that the stables right there, which is where I have my, my ballista set to fire, have orcs come and try to kill the horses in them. And you gotta kill the orcs before all the horses are killed. Um, and the, having a ballista aimed over there really helps to take them out. Um, and then obviously the catapult right here, which is strangely not showing up. Oh, there we go. Um, that will help to deal with, uh, all the orcs that come to try to take out this gate right here, which is also the same quest that you have. The, I believe it's the same one that has the ram come and try to take the gate out, which is where you need the catapult. Um, and then over here, um, the other two I moved down here to help protect against orcs coming up from that way. Uh, the other two ballistas, they're weirdly placed over there. Um, and then I have a fully upgraded ballista right here. Um, and then I have both of these guys set to uh, two-handed stance and target priority sappers and commanders. Um, I have two fully upgraded large barricades down there. Over here is now, see, I used to put that uh, ballista that you saw over there uh, for the stable side quest over here. But if you come over here, and it took me a while to notice this, there really are no troops over here, and all the troops are pretty much going to be killed within the first stage of the battle, because there's so few, and when these guys are fully upgraded, they just shred through all of them. So it's kind of useless to have a siege weapon over here, because you'll never use it. Over here, you'll use it. So that's why I put it over here. If you have the side quest. If you don't have the side quest, you won't use it at all. But if, if you have that side quest, you will be happy you uh, put it over there. 
Um, and then obviously I have another catapult right here for the siege that comes from that way, which is a lot larger of a group. Um, and then right over here, I have another fully upgraded small ballista right down there. And then over here, I have two fully upgraded commanders right here. Fully upgraded large barricades. Uh, there's none down there because you don't really need them down there because it's very easy to defend down there. Um, I have two fully upgraded ones here for when uh, you have the side quest that has them all try to take out the statue over there. Um, I usually, these guys are weirdly placed, um, and sometimes they even disappear when you start the battle, but sometimes they'll glitch and stay. So I usually just throw them on, uh, target priority berserkers and shield stance. You don't really need them, and like I said, sometimes they'll glitch and stay, but most of the time they're actually supposed to disappear. But I'll still, if I have time, I'll still set them up. Up here, this guy doesn't even matter. He doesn't have a commander or anything, as far as I know. Uh, same with this guy. Um, but these are just practice ladders, so you know how to take ladders down, because you'll have the orcs put ladders up. So you can just knock these down for practice if you want before an epic battle. Ladder down! Alright. Um, and the important part about sappers, which I talked about in my first video but I didn't get to show, is that you have stuff like these flags, stuff like the barricades, stuff like that, that the sappers go and try to blow up. And that's why you need target priority sappers as one of your most important things. Um, now for these, I upgraded all these barricades, and this one I moved in, the middle one, because there's always an open space here, but I always try to close that. Because you have tons of berserker trolls come to try to take out this, this uh, statue right here uh, for one of the quests, and the more health it has, the higher score you have. So I usually put all these barricades here, I throw these guys on berserkers and shield stance, because that will help them focus both the Yurikai and the trolls that come to take out the statue. Um, and then I have the ca I have a catapult right here, fully upgraded, ready to fire down uh, where all the trolls and stuff come from. In that direction. Oops, they want to do that. Um, and then down here, I have two fully upgraded barricades, and both my commanders down here set for the. For the recommendation I told you guys about. And then I have one more ballista over here. And this is this isn't really for solo play, but if you're in a if you're doing a two-man or a, or a, I think this can be done as a six-man too, this one's very important. Because uh, as a one-man you can't be in two places at once, so I usually just man the catapult and I'll show you guys that if we get the quest. Uh, if you have that quest where they try to take out the statue and you're in a group, you can have one guy in this ballista and one guy in the catapult, and you'll pretty much destroy everything before it even gets to these guys. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, where you want to build stuff as an engineer and what you want to do as an officer. Um, and now, I will show you guys how to actually do the epic battle, now that we're done just upgrading everything. And if you're in a group, that upgrading everything will only take like 5-10 to 10 minutes if everyone knows what to do. Um, if you're solo, it's going to take you about 15 to 20 minutes, um, unless you're more experienced like me, like I took about maybe 12 minutes to get everything upgraded, but, um, yeah, so, and it, I mean, it takes practice too, um, but yeah, so let's get this craziness started, and I will guide you guys through as much as I can. Alright, here we go. The moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, I gotta reapply my fu my uh, fire arrows here. Yep, they usually come on the western end first. So I'm gonna take up this catapult right here. And I will start out with this. Uh, the question is, where are they marching? Okay, yep, you can see them coming right in the corner up there. Right in the upper right corner. So I'm gonna aim this catapult just a little bit to the left. Put a buff down for the catapult. 
And wait for them to catch up to where the circle is, and I'll fire my grape shot at them. Just a little farther. A little farther, and boom. All right, now we're going to load up a triple shell. Boom, 16 warrior enemies. Now, I will say the farther the epic battles progress, the less you want to use siege weapons. Because they do speed up the encounter, and uh, later on speeding up the encounter will just overwhelm you and your teammates. But early on, you can just speed it up as much as you want. Just obliterate the heck out of every all of them. Alright, here we go. They're coming up. Throw some slowing powder on them. Slow down their uh, troop movements a little here. Should be good. Gunlendings are attempting to dam the river with large oh, stones. Oh, I hate this Supply one. Supply the Rohurim archers as they fire upon them. Okay, this one's annoying. <laughs> this is one of the few that I failed at many times. Um. So this one, you gotta supply these archers right here. And I always forget, are these the ones where the arrows are in the ground, or are the buckets? Oh, boy. Oh, no, you just tell these guys to fire. Okay, okay, I get it. Alright, so you gotta get them all firing. This one's a little, This one's much easier in a group, but I've even failed in groups that everyone knows what they're doing with this one, so... Pretty much just a lot of running around. <laughs> run around to the archers. Run, 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 run. Run. Fire! What? Okay, who's attacking me? Why am I in combat? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, see, they already placed two rocks, so we're already failing. Yeah, get away from him. Fire. Back over to this archer. Okay, let me buff these soldiers up quickly. Focus on the the fight is not over yet. That's a weird glitch. Him firing. Yeah, run, run. I'm going to try to take. Yep, got one. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get this guy firing. The oh, landings have dammed up the stream. See, I don't know. That one's a that one's a tough one. I will say that that one is a tough one. If anyone knows how to beat that one, please let me know because that one's super annoying. Anyway, <laughs> now that we completely failed at that mission on my first tutorial of this, we're gonna try to try to do the rest good. So yeah. If you fail at something, don't let it get to you. Just keep going. Um, try to get the rest as high of a score as you can, and uh, yeah, you should be good. Let me let me heal these guys we up just in case. To see the dawn. I'm sure some of them took damage. None of the barricades look like they took damage, which is good. Uh, okay, they're still attacking this side of the dike. That's probably the other guys over here. They're probably still fighting, right? No? 
Nope, they're still fighting. Okay, so let's see if we can assist them by firing this ballista. Speed it up a bit. Oops. Alright, so we're going to need to angle this way to the left here. That should be good. Boom. Alright, let's fire again. Probably go a little bit more to the left. Oh yeah, we could definitely go more to the left. You just want to keep firing this as fast as possible. Take out as many enemies as you can. Four more warrior enemies. Four more warrior enemies. Come on, give me another commander kill. I want another commander kill. More and more warrior enemies. Wow, a lot of warrior enemies. A lot of warrior enemies. Four more warrior enemies. Four more warrior enemies. Four more warrior enemies. More warrior enemies. <laughs> oh my goodness. So many warrior enemies. My goodness. I love the little animation of the orcs flying in the air when you hit them. Oh, that all of them? That might actually be all of them. Yeah, that might be all of them. Is this group going to move forward, or are they going to stay put? That's the real question. Alright. We're about to go to the other side of the dike. Every time you see Amir's voice call out that, or Aragorn call out something like that, that they're thinning. Uh, that means you want to do any repair and prep work that you need to do on your side and then move to the other side. So I think we're good because I did so many upgrades at the beginning. So we're going to move to this end and get ready for this insanity because this gets a little crazy. So you, um, I'm going to take this ballista over here, try to thin their numbers with this. And most likely we'll either end up behind the gate or over at the statue because that those are the two places nine out of ten times I end up at and I just stick to one of those areas and defend like crazy for this whole side. So it depends on where the enemy wants to attack first. I'm gonna try to thin the numbers over here first. Nope, no 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 too far. Alright. Oh, I wanna go one over to the right. Wait for them to come close. And fire. Wow, three commander enemies right off the bat. That was a nice shot. Fire again. Missed completely. There we go. Three more commander enemies. That's a nice one. There we go. Four archers. Myself, my engineer buff. Alright, crank it some more. Fire. There we go. Four more archer enemies. A lot of archers in this wave. Looks like. Yep, more archers. More archers. More archers. A lot of archers. Oh my. Let's keep grinding, keep grinding, firing. Oh, got some warriors on that one. More warriors.
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This whole side wave right here is almost completely flatlined. Now. Just because of me constantly spamming this barricade. And the few that get through are getting wrecked by the soldiers over there because they're so buffed up. So this is this is how you do this, guys. This makes this real easy. Alright, so now we took out enough of them that we can't hit anymore. So these guys should be able to handle the rest of them. Which guy's the sapper guy? Yeah, let's heal this I guy up. Help them burn through them a bit. Yeah, see, these guys disappeared. Sometimes I've seen them glitch out and they stay, and that's why I still like to set them up, but most of the time they'll just disappear. Alright, so now... Let's move over here to the catapult and see if we can use this to thin their numbers over here. Get the side quest started. Okay, I gotta move this a little bit to the right. I cranked it too much, too. That's okay. One more crank should do it. Boom. Let's load a triple shell. Boom. Let's load a rendering powder. Just in anticipation the for the trolls. Yep! The siege. Here come the trolls. <laughs> Here come the trolls. Alright, this is where the berserkers and the trolls come in. Right here. All right, so you'll see the trolls spawn right down here. So I usually like to do this one. Do a demoralizing power. Crank it. Yep, so you can see the siege trolls coming in. All right, wait for a troll to appear. I'll just go with that. <laughs> Alright, you know what, it's a lot easier because someone should still be over here defending, like see a troll's breaking through, let me pop a stun trap for him, there we go, give him a few good hits, alright, siege troll down, Yeah, a lot of them are breaking through, so I'm going to try to give these guys a buff down here. Heal those guys up, remove their corruption. That stun trap's working wonders. Also, I, got, I can drop my hunter traps over here too. Get wrecked, son. Oh, troll coming in. See, this is where a vanguard would be good, because a vanguard could stand here and slice and dice any ones that get through everything, so... Yeah. Now, if I was in the team, I'd probably be sticking to the catapult, to be honest. I'm trying to hit the trolls as they come through, snipe them off, but because I'm the only guy in here, I'm just gonna hold position. Um, I could totally be on the catapult right now, but I'm not going to be. Um, just because I have a feeling that even if I'm hitting trolls back there, they're still going to be getting through. And if they get past these guys right here, they're going to wreck the statue. And you want to keep the statue as healthy as possible. I don't think anything has touched the statue yet. Nope. And that's why that's... That's important, because if nothing touches the statue, you get a platinum reward. Get sniped, son. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, we got a siege troll coming in again. Do an AoE attack. Yeah. 
I'm gonna put a uh, cow traps down because they'll slow down the enemy. Got a defiler coming in. He's dead. Didn't even need to shoot him. This is why prep work is so important. This would be insanely hard if I didn't take the time to do the prep work before the epic battle. But because I did the prep work, this is super easy. Look at that. They're just dying as they're stunned inside the barricades. It's beautiful! Then the few that get through are just gonna get wrecked. Like this fellow right here. Yep, I didn't even get a chance to shoot him. He got wrecked so fast. Alright. You know let's buff these guys up. Tighten up your we got another siege troll coming in. Let's give him a heart seeker. Oh, we got two. We got two. We got another one. Oh dear. Let's stun him. Oh no. Statue has been protected from the enemy. I can repair that. Boom! Look at that. That would be a platinum reward, folks. That's how you do it. That is how you get platinums right there. We just got a platinum. In fact... Yeah, in fact, I think we're about to get a platinum on the... Uh, no, we're, we've gotten the Silver Merit. So we still got a while to go to get platinum for the whole epic battle. But we're doing good. We're doing really good. Alright, so let's see if we can get these guys over here, because they're the only guys left. If I can't get them with the catapult, I can just move to the ballista on the east side of the dike. Okay, let's, let's load it up first so I actually know where I'm aiming. Uh, we'll do slowing powder, slow them down. So as you can see, there's a lot of strategy that goes in this, and the more prep work you take, the better. You gotta be patient with epic battles, you can't rush it. Never rush an epic battle. It will never end well, and you won't enjoy it. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> Alright, fire. Time to get wrecked. The enemy is attempting to weaken the gate from behind. Prevent them from using their black powder. Alright, here's the powder quest. Or the gate quest I was talking about. Let's go deal with that. We'll just take this rope. So they're going to be coming down this way. So let's place a tripwire, I believe, right about here. Yes. Hopefully he hits that trap. Oh no, he didn't. Oh dear. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Focus his fight is not over yet. All right, let's put a hunter trap here. That should get him. Oh, he's immune. What? Okay, okay. Sap her down. Oh, black powder. You do not want those to go off. Ooh, okay, yeah, we're not doing so hot on this one. All right. He didn't get it placed. He didn't get his place. That's good. Ooh, this is scary. We gotta place another trap right here. Fast. Oh, golly. Get it placed. Get it placed. Get it placed. Woo! Okay. This is this is the more intense moments of epic battles right here. Got that one sniped. Okay, he's dead. Focus on the sapper. They can take the Uric out. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. We're surviving, that's all that matters.
Okay, he got wrecked. That's good. Yurikai boss. Oh boy. There. Oh boy. Take out this guy. Go for this sapper over here. Oh, that's not good. They're not gonna get them in time. Alright. Okay, that was a save. Barely, but we saved it. Two more sappers coming in. Oh, that was a save. Okay, two more coming this way. Get some cow traps placed. Take out the black powder keg. Sun didn't work. The enemy's assault on the main gate has been repulsed. Woo! That was close, folks. That was close, but we did it. High five to everybody out there. Woo! All right, that's how you get platinum right there. <laughs> See, that barricade and all my traps were helping with that. Um, that was only a gold? What? How? Okay. I object! Alright. We did that good, though. Alright, let's heal these guys up. We didn't lose any soldiers yet, so that's good. Um, Alright. Uh, they are now attacking both sides of the dike that happened while we were down there defending that the full assault has begun So that means that we kind of need to start running between both sides and seeing where people need help No soldiers have died as I think I said so that's good uh, Yes, okay, we can take some guys out over here so Let's load up a triple shell Uh, I'll go with the moralizing power. Crank that up. Alright, I didn't name that very good at all. Do the leeching powder. That's going to hit. Boom. Alright, so that should be enough for this side. Uh, let's go check up on the far west. Make sure they're good over there. So let's buff this commander, because he usually gets a lot of enemies. Alright, now let's get over to this side. See if they're good over here. Check the vantage point of the ballista. Oh, we got... Oh, look at all... Oh, look at all those enemies! Woohoo! Wow! Look at all those enemies coming down the hill. Oh, my. All right, yeah, we're going to need the ballista on this one. We're going to have to try to snipe them all at a little at a time here. Let me aim up a little bit. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Let's take out this middle group first. Right there. This is a lot of enemies. Alright. Let's 
try to snipe them all out. Well, so far we uh, failed one side quest, but uh, pretty much got platinum on the other two. So, I mean, I'm happy with that. trying to take out as many enemies as I can before the uh, epic battle ends. Which should be clearing out pretty soon here. Yep, there we go. Alright, Helm's Dyke is completed. Fall back! Fall back to the Hornberg! Run! Run for your life! We didn't even get to use our ballista. Ah, well. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do this one, guys, in a nutshell. Um, and like I said, if you're a beginner, you pretty much just want to not do the side objectives unless they're taking out, like, the gate or something, because that one's pretty important. But the rest of them don't matter as much. Uh, so we got an overall gold reward. Um, we got... Two platinums and a bronze, and I for the these are for the side quests. So if you don't focus on the side quests, you will still get bronze rewards, which as for a beginner, and I'm talking to all the beginners here, for a beginner you just want to stick with bronze and work your way up. Don't try to rush the good rewards. You want to get some points in your uh, epic battle trait tree that you want to go in, and then as you level up, you can start going for the platinums. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, that first one is where we got the bronze from because we absolutely failed that one massively with the archers. And I really don't know how to beat that one, to be honest. Um, yeah, if any of you know how to beat that one, I'll accept uh, um, any advice or uh, ideas you guys have. But the other two we got platinums. The other two we literally did perfect. So let's uh, loot all this. We don't have room. Let's see, that ring is way better than the stuff I have. That's another thing Epic Battles are awesome for, is that they have insanely awesome jewelry. So, like some of the best I've seen in the game. So, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely better. Now I gotta see... Okay, yeah, so that's gonna replace my purple ring. So let us equip that. Boom. Boom. Uh, that won't let me, yeah, that's not going to let me open that, because usually those require a lot of open slots, which means I need to go back to, uh, I'm just going to use my hunter port, go back and I'll show you guys what you get for uh, the difference between bronze and platinum, and then we will uh, end this video out here, and you guys can look forward to me covering, uh, oh, my favorite one, Deeping Wall, um, Deeping Wall is my all-time favorite uh, epic battle, and I'll explain why when we get to that, but that will be the next one. I'll cover a solo walkthrough of the Deeping Wall. Um, but for right now, let's go sell this stuff and end the recording. Oh, 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 oh. Our mission is dire. And repair armor, because that's always important. All right, let's hope we can open this. Mmm, I hate it when that happens. Oh, I hate it when that happens. All right. Uh, you know what? I don't really need these. Because I always use my war steed anyway, so I'm just going to get rid of these. There we go. All right, so that was a platinum. Got 15 stars of merit. Let's loot the bronze. 
You do not have enough room? Are you kidding me? What? What? Let's just use that. Alright, we got 20 stars of merit and a ring. That's better than anything we have. Let's see if we can uh, open this. We can. That's 15 stars of merit. Nice. Alrighty. Well, let's equip this ring. Let's see. What's it better than? Oh, that would be better than my lower level blue ring. So let's throw that on. Which one would that be? Okay, that's the bottom one. Boom. Yep, alright. Sweet. Will you aid the horse lords? And Yes. Okay. I've never seen that message before that I can remember. Alright. Alright everyone, so thank you for watching. Make sure to look for my next uh, Epic Battle video about the Deeping Wall, and I will catch you guys later. Alright everyone, well thank you for watching more of the Lord of the Rings Online Epic Battle tutorial series. Um, I hope you enjoyed and got some good tips from everything. Uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below with any questions or any uh, tips you might have for me or just general talk about epic battles. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Alright. Live long and prosper, Melons. Take care.